Guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new video, and today we're going to be talking about everything we know so far about coming into 11.5. This is going to be the final update for this season official update obviously and I've got a lot of information for that update Which is going to be dropping either on Tuesday tomorrow Wednesday or Thursday I've recently just had an operation on my left hand So I'm a little bit slow on my Fortnite controls So I'm going to be playing some old save the world gameplay So I'm not actually going to be playing some battle royale gameplay because I physically can't play the game at this moment in time Properly anyway, I can have a little go but I'm very very clunky and I'm already clunky as it is so it would just look awful so here's some old save the world gameplay in the background for those wondering and yes the operation was okay it went fine and then obviously we've got a lot of stuff going on in the community now one question i want to ask you guys because this is something that i'm thinking of making a video on do you think the clickbait content is causing fortnite's youtube scene to have a downfall i personally do because the fortnite clickbait content is extremely high in my feed I don't know about your feed, there's so much of it. Now there is obviously content out there that isn't clickbait content, and that content is pretty obvious to notice, but I just want to ask you guys that question in the comments down below. So leave a comment down below. And also, the guess who on the skin is going to be going on right now. So can you guess this skin? Obviously this isn't the skin that it actually is that you can see in the picture, but the skin that I'm going to be talking about is a very clever skin. He's been in from the early days of Fortnite. He's been ruling the entire world technically until the disturbance happened this season. Can you guess that skin? It's quite obvious, but let's just see if you guys can guess it from that. It's not the one in the picture. Anyway, let's get into this. If you're new around here, smash that subscribe. Use code postboxpat in the item shop. And don't forget to go and support me further if you can. Also, here's the first piece of news, and it's the potential Valentine's event. So, there's potentially going to be a Valentine's event, which is going to be 14 days, where the revenue could be quadrupled again. So, if you are going to be using someone's code, it'd be really handy if you guys could go and use code postboxpat in the item shop or anything on the Epic Games Store. I am an Epic Games partner, and this does help me save up for my PC. We're just over halfway, so if the revenue gets quadrupled and everyone watching this video right now uses that code and sends me a tweet at PostboxPat if you are, let me know because I'm going to be giving shoutouts to you guys and also gifting skins, so let me know. And obviously that would help me get my PC pretty quickly. So that's pretty awesome information with the Valentine's event. Here's some pictures of the potential looks of the Chaos Engine. Shout out to my friend on this for actually designing these themes. I absolutely love it. From Escape, I think his name is. I think that's how you say it. Uh, but it's absolutely awesome, and I love his designs on there. So well done, congratulations on these. These are potentially what the Chaos Engine could look like, and it could see the return of the planes in Season 2. We obviously know we need move movability, maneuverability on the map, that's how you say it. So hopefully we do get some of that in the Season 2 of the chapter one side of stuff now some more news coming from obviously the playstation side of stuff we have the official playstation tournament where anyone could enter and in this tournament you can actually win these three items on screen now you've got to be in the top five percent to actually win the skin top 25 for the pickaxe and top 50 for the spray but if you're on PlayStation, this is something you should definitely enter in on the 15th and 16th of February because it's a million dollar prize pool as well. And obviously, you could potentially win these items if you get in them top percent. So definitely worth it. Cool items. We can probably expect the skin and the pickaxe to come to the store, but it might only be PlayStation exclusive only. So hopefully, some exciting news there for you guys on the PlayStation side of stuff. Personally, I play on the Xbox. But if you're on PlayStation, you've got a really cool opportunity right there for yourself and your friends to grab some free items from that Fortnite Battle Royale kind of store, if you want to call it, because eventually these will probably pop into that store, in my opinion. So that's everything from that side of stuff. Now, obviously, we've got a bit more information for you guys as well regarding the Team Rumble battles. Now, on Team Rumble, we actually have some talk coming from any chance Team Rumble could get the grappling hook back like it was in Chapter 1. And Epic Dusty Devo replied saying that they will potentially return with the grappling back someday because it was such a fun item. But generally, he said that vaulted weapons won't come into Rumble. They want to keep it on par with Battle Royale, which obviously makes sense because you don't want to be using weapons that are in Rumble that aren't in Battle Royale because it kind of confuses it to people. People. So I don't think we'll see all of unvaulted or vault all weapons unvaulted into that section I don't think we'll see that but I definitely think we'll see the grappler He even confirms that right there So the grappler is an item that we will potentially see in it. Hopefully gliders don't get removed either There was also rumors that gliders were going to get removed from this I think if that did happen so many people would be upset with it and I personally would be very very sad to see gliders go in that situation but that's my personal opinion on it i just think if they remove gliders i don't think team rumble will be the same it would definitely be a different style of play though it'd be worth a try for a week but i personally think you'll probably have to re-add them in 
because it's just the way it runs. Now some more talk as well. There has actually been rumours from my friend Happy Power. I didn't really follow into this one too much. He actually talked a little bit further how schools in the US are now banning Fortnite from their eSports style of systems. Now I don't know why this is the case because Fortnite itself isn't even that much of a violent game. So hopefully Fortnite does get re-enabled for all of you guys in them eSports industries in your schools. It's kind of disappointing really to see Fortnite getting banned from that side of stuff because it is a massive game and it is available for a young audience as well as we know the age racing is pretty low. It's not nice to see this for them players out there who love Fortnite but hopefully we do get it returning for you guys very very soon. Now regarding what else is most likely to be added in tomorrow's update, we know that map changes are a huge thing in Fortnite Battle Royale and so many of you love the map change videos on my channel. So if map change videos do get added in tomorrow, Wednesday or Thursday, I'll be your number one place to cover them on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe with that notification bell and stay tuned up to date with all of that style of content. But I don't know if they're going to add map changes in because there's other stuff they may add in. With this two week event rumoured, we've suspected it to either be Valentine's or part of the Birds of Prey film which is coming out, which is rumoured with Fortnite's recent tweet to it. Obviously, that is what we are rumouring or kind of coming up with ideas for it to be, this two week event which they've announced in their official post, but it may actually be an in-game event regarding the storyline with the battle between Ego and Alter. Maybe, maybe not. It's unknown to know exactly what files are going to get added into this update, but it's going to be nice to see where it's going to lead us up to with the Season 2 storyline. I definitely think they're going to take the battle further with that Season 2 storyline unless we get an end-game event this season for the end of, obviously, Chapter 2 Season 1. I don't know that would be really possible to be honest. The season's been extremely long with a huge amount of days. Do you guys actually want to know how long the season's been? Well, here's some facts here from Fire Monkey where he actually explains the exact length the season has been for all of us. So this season has been a total of 128 days and that is a total of four months and six to seven days depending on when you're watching this video or even more in the future if you're watching it there. So 18 weeks and one day, insane amount of time this season has ran for. Please Fortnite, bring out that next season. Wow, they've really left it a long time. This chapter two, season two has got to be a big one. With Chaos Engine around the corner, we all know how exciting it's going to be with game changing mechanics hopefully to completely revamp Fortnite's meta, which I would absolutely love to get back into. Personally, I've been pushed away from the Fortnite meta because I simply just don't have enough time or motivation to practice building daily. It seems to me that this only seems useful if you're competing in the competition side of stuff in Fortnite Battle Royale. Otherwise, it's pointless from my point of view. Obviously, if you've got a community at school or your own esports society, then it's obviously worthwhile practicing for this sort of stuff. But for me, playing no competition at all, just as a casual player in the Battle Royale side of stuff. Obviously, I'm a huge story fan. I know everything about the Fortnite storyline, but when it comes to obviously the actual Battle Royale, I've been pushed away from the building just because of how difficult it has become. With bits of practice and bits of trial, I could easily improve. Do I have the time for it and the motivation to do that? Not right now, because I know I'm never gonna become one of them top players because they are way ahead of me. That's my personal opinion on it. So a change in the meta would definitely revamp my style and thoughts towards the actual battle royale, learning new skills and stuff. My building's hit its cap. It hit its cap in season seven and will probably never improve from there. Maybe I can work on my editing a little bit, which I had got motivation to do, but my actual building skills, I think I've hit the cap. I don't plan on improving them anymore, but definitely editing. I do want to look into getting a little bit better with editing, but building, I'm going to have to leave it out for now. As usual, we can expect there to be leaked skins, leaked emotes, and many other leaked things in this update, and maybe even some semi-map changes that go on throughout the two weeks. That's usually things on the map that aren't rendering in when you go and check them out at distance. Sometimes that can happen all over the chapter two map. So it's been a little bit more confusing compared to chapter one when we could kind of tell what's going to change. And usually in the files, we do get additional changes to the actual map early. However, this doesn't always happen. With leakers recently leaking a lot of the map changes that happen before they actually do happen in game, this is something that Fortnite are working on and trying to make it so map changes don't leak as easily. Especially if it's a collaboration, for example, if we get a birds of play point of birds of 
prey, not play, part, <laughs> point of interest on the map, then obviously we can expect that that will probably get added in either at the start of the update or midway through in a content slash patch update, in a content little mini content update, which you will download, which will be like version 11.52 probably, because there'll be another patch probably fixing a few bugs. Then we can expect obviously that to have that in as well. So that's probably what they'll do if they add in a point of interest from a film, etc. But I really do hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Smash that like, smash that subscribe. I've really got all the way through with today's video, especially with editing it with just one hand. So thank you so much, everyone who's made it right to the end. If you made it right to the end, comment down below one hand just for the lols and let me know if you made it right to the end. And put your Epic Games name in there as well because I'll be gifting a bunch of you guys some stuff. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Smash that like, smash that subscribe. And once again, this is Postbox Pat signing out.